In the heart of Africa, nestled by the vast and mysterious ocean, there lived a young fisherman named Gia. He was known in his village for his unwavering dedication to his craft, though his catches were often modest. Gia was the youngest of three brothers, each of whom played a pivotal role in their family's legacy. Their father, a venerable elder named Umi, was a man of wisdom and had been the cornerstone of their family, guiding them through life's tumultuous seas. As Umi's life neared its end, he called his sons to his bedside to bestow upon them his worldly possessions. To his eldest son, Akwasi, he gave his house, a sturdy structure that had sheltered them through countless storms. To the second son, Kojo, he gave his livestock, a source of sustenance and wealth. And to Gia, the youngest, he handed an amulet, an unassuming piece of jewelry that seemed insignificant in comparison to the assets his brothers received. Akwasi and Kojo received the inheritance with joy and gratitude, seeing in them the continuation of their father's legacy. However, Gia, feeling slighted and overlooked, could not contain his disappointment. Father, why have you given me this trinket while my brothers receive your wealth? He demanded, his voice tinged with bitterness. Umi, with a voice as calm as the sea at dawn, replied, My son, this amulet is the only object you'll need to succeed in life. Trust in its power and in the wisdom it represents. But Gia, blinded by anger and unable to see past the material value of the gifts, insulted his father, a decision that would haunt him for years to come. Shortly after imparting his final words of wisdom, Umi passed away, leaving his sons to navigate the future without him. In the days that followed, Gia's heart was heavy with grief and regret. In an attempt to escape his sorrow, he took to the sea, hoping that the familiar embrace of the waves would soothe his aching soul. Hours passed, and not a single fish graced his net. Frustrated and on the brink of despair, he contemplated throwing the amulet into the depths as a testament to his anger. Just as he was about to cast it away, a glint of light caught his eye, far off in the middle of the ocean. With nothing to lose, driven by a mix of curiosity and desperation, Gia steered his boat towards the mysterious shine. As he approached, the water began to churn, and from the depths emerged a mermaid, her beauty otherworldly, her gaze penetrating. Before Gia could react, she sang a haunting melody that lulled him into a deep sleep, and he was swept away into the water realms. When Gia awoke, he found himself in an ethereal underwater kingdom, bound and surrounded by mermaids. The mermaids, ethereal beings of the deep, were an amalgamation of beauty and the uncanny, embodying the mysteries that lay beneath the waves. Their scales shimmered in hues of azure, emerald, and gold, catching the light of the underwater realm in mesmerizing patterns. Their tails, powerful and elegant, moved with grace and precision, propelling them through the water with effortless ease. The legends of old, told by the elders around the fire, flooded his mind. Tales of mermaids capturing a human every hundred years to sacrifice to their water spirit. Fear gripped his heart as he realized he was the chosen one, destined to be offered to appease the mysterious entity that ruled the waters. The mermaids, with gentle yet firm grips, guided him through the water. 
The attach was paradoxically warm against the cool embrace of the sea, a testament to their mystical nature. Gia, caught in a daze between the realms of sleep and wakefulness, could barely resist as he was carried deeper into the abyss. The path they took was illuminated by bioluminescent flora and fauna, casting an eerie glow on the procession. The beauty of the underwater landscape was lost on Gia, whose mind was clouded with confusion and fear. Gia was brought to the edge of the cage, his bindings removed by the mermaid with the reverence that belied the grim nature of his situation. They whispered ancient incantations, their voices melding with the sounds of the sea, creating a melody that was both beautiful and sorrowful. The cage door opened seemingly of its own accord, revealing the dark abyss within, where the water monster awaited its offering. The mermaids, with a final look of empathy and a silent apology, guided Gia into the cage. Their hands, once gentle, now compelled him forward with the determination born of their sacred duty. Gia, now fully awake and aware of his impending fate, stepped into the cage with a heavy heart, his mind racing for a way to escape the destiny that had been thrust upon him. The creature, with eyes as dark as the abyss, advanced towards him, its intentions clear. In that moment of impending doom, Gia saw a vision of his father, holding the amulet with a serene expression. The memory jolted him back to reality, and with trembling hands, he retrieved the amulet from his pocket. As the monster loomed over him, Gia held the amulet high, and a miraculous transformation occurred. Light emanated from the amulet, engulfing the creature, which dissolved into thin air before his very eyes. The mermaids, witnessing the power of the amulet, scattered in fear, opening the cage and leaving Gia alone in the underwater realm. Confused and disoriented after the mermaids vanished, Gia found himself alone in the vast underwater realm, the silence of the deep enveloping him. The weight of his predicament pressed heavily upon him, a lone human in the domain of the sea. The darkness around him was not just physical, but symbolic of the uncertainty he faced. However, amidst this darkness, the amulet around his neck began to pulsate to the gentle, warm light. It was not merely a beacon in the literal sense, but a manifestation of his father's wisdom and protection, guiding him through his darkest moment. As he began to swim, following the amulet's glow, Gia noticed that the oppressive darkness of the underwater realm gradually gave way to lighter shades of blue. The deeper he swam, the more the water around him began to teem with life. Schools of fish, untouched by the fears and conflicts of the land above, glided past him, their scales reflecting the amulet's light in a kaleidoscope of colors. It was as if the sea itself acknowledged his journey, offering him safe passage through its depths. Exhausted but elated, Gia finally reached the shore, his feet touching the sandy bottom. As he walked onto the beach, the amulet seized its glow, its purpose fulfilled. Gia stood there for a moment, looking back at the vast ocean that had been both his captor and his savior, realizing that he had traversed a path few could imagine. The journey back from the depths had not just been a physical return, but a profound journey of realization and transformation. He had been lost in the depths, both literally and metaphorically, and it was the amulet his father's last gift that had guided him home, 
teaching him the invaluable lesson of trust and the unseen power of faith. Gia, choosing to keep his extraordinary journey a secret, in the next morning resumed his routine, heading out to sea with a newfound sense of purpose. Remarkably, his nets were fuller than they had ever been, and this fortune continued day after day. Gia became the most prosperous fisherman in the village, his catches legendary, his wealth growing with each passing season. Despite his success, Gia remained humble, often reflecting on his adventure and the lessons learned. He realized the true value of his father's gift, understanding that wealth and success are not always measured in material possessions, but in the wisdom and power that one holds within. Gia's story became a silent testament to the strength of faith and the importance of valuing every gift, no matter how small it may seem. And though he never spoke of his encounter with the mermaids or the water spirit, the amulet remained by his side, a constant reminder of his father's love and the profound truth that one should never take any present for granted. Through Gia's journey, the moral of the story resonates with timeless relevance. The greatest treasures in life are often disguised in simplicity, awaiting those who are willing to see beyond the surface and embrace their true potential. If you don't want to miss the most exciting African folktales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time.